On October 1st, the Catalan Parliament defied Spain's central government by holding a referendum on independence. With that, the country was plunged into a political crisis that deepens by the day. From the moment the polls opened, Spain's national police were on hand to stop the vote, which the central government had deemed illegal. And the police did not hesitate to use heavy-handed tactics, from firing rubber bullets at crowds to beating up voters at polling stations. After the vote, the now ousted Catalan leader, Carles Puigdemont, declared Catalonia an independent republic. The Spanish government, led by Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy, responded by invoking Article 155 of the Spanish Constitution, which allows it to seize control of a province temporarily. After the Catalan Parliament adopted an independence resolution, Rajoy dissolved the body, dismissed Puigdemont's government, and ordered a new regional election to be held in December. Spain's Attorney General has since called for charges of rebellion, sedition, and misuse of public funds to be brought against members of the deposed Catalan cabinet. According to Puigdemont, Rajoy's move is the worst attack on Catalan institutions since Francisco Franco rescinded the region's autonomy in 1939. And he has a point. This is the first time Catalonia has been under the central government's direct control since Spain's return to democracy 40 years ago. But for Spain's central government, stifling the secessionist push in Catalonia is the number one priority, no matter the cost. And so far, it has the support of the European Union, for reasons that extend far beyond Catalonia. It's no secret that the West, and the EU in particular, has lately been facing a populist surge with nationalist forces gaining ground from the UK to Germany and especially Central Europe. With the EU already struggling to overcome resistance to further integration, the last thing it needs is more fragmentation of the kind Catalonia's push for secession implies. Not all Catalans want independence from Spain. According to one recent opinion poll, pro-union parties are likely to come out on top in December. Hundreds of thousands of Catalans took to the streets of Barcelona after the referendum to protest the regional government's push for secession. Now they'll have a chance to march to the ballot box. But even as the secessionist movement loses momentum in Catalonia, the issues of legitimacy and institutional trust that have fueled it and fueled populist forces elsewhere remain unresolved. For the EU, which relies so heavily on cooperation, this does not bode well.